Hey folks, Trent Deloach here. I'm wanting to welcome you to my new Tackle Tip Tuesday series. What I'm going to show you is my setups for the tackle cans. This is the starboard can, and it shows what's going on out that side of the boat, which here's a couple of clips. Okay, this is a mount I got off of Amazon. These things are really neat. They have a lot of, the, they have a pivot point here. You can, um, using the base here, it's a quick disconnect. So you just push the button and pull this out. It can be turned at any angle. This can be adjusted for this angle here of the pole. Then this angle can be adjusted going up to the mount. And then you've got this device here that allows you to turn the base that the camera mounts to. Now it's got two kind of mounts. It's got the screw mount or the standard GoPro mount here. And that's all I use is just I attach the mount that comes with the Tacticam. I attached it to the GoPro mount. I put in a USB plug, wired it into my boat. I'll link that below. I'll link the mount in the description below. And uh, these cams are just really neat. Um, I'll go through some of the details about them in just a second for those of you that don't know. All right. And here is the starboard cam. I think I said starboard cam on that on the other side. It's actually the port cam. Uh, this is the starboard cam using the same kind of mount. I just screwed it behind my graph mounts. And this same thing, it just a quick disconnect and attaches. And then this camera can see out this side of the boat. And here's a clip of that. Just some details about the Tacticams. They're really neat. Um, right now I have them plugged, I have my back caps off and I don't keep my batteries in and hence they're not waterproof like that. So when it comes to time to fish with them in the rain, I'm going to have to either cover the back of them or something. But Tacticam's coming out with a new back for these that has a tether on it. It's waterproof and I'm super excited to get that. Um, the really neat thing I like about the Tacticam's is the three different modes they have. The first mode is what's called fishing mode, and that's the mode that I'm going to use most often. What fishing mode does is as you're going along fishing, it's recording, and it's recording in a loop, and you can set the time on the loops from one minute, three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, whatever you want it set, and it just keeps, you know, looping over. And as your memory card fills up, it will, like say you only had a 32 gigabyte memory card and you get to that video to the end and you don't have enough room, well it'll go back and overwrite the back one. And you say, well how is that good? What if I caught a fish? Well what's really cool about the fishing mode is as it's recording, if you catch a fish and you want to mark it, you just reach back and you push the record button. And, um, and you just hit it one time, the camera will vibrate and what it did with that is it saved the last one minute, three minutes, five minutes, whatever you set it to to save, it saves it and locks it on your memory card. So what it does is is the 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 film or the the clip will show up and it'll have an S at the end of it for save. And the camera automatically knows to not get rid of that file. So you automatically have it marked. There's no more reaching back, hit your GoPro button three times or your SJ Cam button three times to make a shorter clip than having to go through your memory card and find all of them. No more of that. You just put your mem uh, plug your camera into your computer. You go into the folder and you'll see all these clips. And what it does is it saves three different kinds of clips. It saves a clip with a TMP at the end of it, which is a low quality clip. I think it's just for going back and, and quick watching. It doesn't take up much room, but then it saves a high quality clip of the same clip. So it'll be the number of the clip will be your high quality. Then it'll be the number with a TMP at the end, which is a little low quality. And then if you save something, it'll have an S at the end of that. So all you have to do is go up to your search bar and hit and type in an S and hit enter and then all your saved clips are right there no more trouble finding them, no more having to go through all your footage and find your catches. That's my favorite thing. Now they also have regular record mode which would function the same as a GoPro or my SJ Cam here. Um, and then they have time lapse. Time lapse is really cool. That's for that if you're going down the boat uh, road, you're taking a long boat ride, you put it in time lapse mode, hit record and say that boat ride's 30 minutes. Well it's going to condense it down to a quick couple of minutes that you can watch through and show your whole boat ride. Now you can do the same thing in your editing program and just 
speed the footage up, but the cameras have that ability on them, which is pretty cool. Tacticam is also coming out with some new lenses for these. They come standard with a 111 degree lens, which is not as wide as the lens you're looking at with me now. This is a 170 degree wide, but Tacticam is coming out with an ultra wide angle 170 degree lens. I'm excited to get my hands on those because you'll really be able to see a lot more of what I'm doing when I'm fishing. Now there will be a lot of dead space like the deck of the boat and way up above my head, but I'll cut that out. But it'll give you a lot wider view of what's going on around the boat. And that could be something as simple as, in one of my videos, up ahead of me I had a fish jump. And so in the video you see me turn and pitch forward, but you don't see what I'm pitching at. And I caught that fish on a jig. And that wider angle lens will let me catch that. So anyway, check out the links below. They're going to be Amazon affiliate links, so if you do use these links and buy any of these mounts, I will get a little kickback from that. Um, I am sponsored now by Tacticam, but I approached them to be sponsored by them. This isn't something they're not paying me to do this. I'm not getting any extra by it. I've already gotten my pro staff discount for these cameras. So all this is is me sharing with you what I did and why I did it. I chose to approach Tacticam because they had made a dedicated fishing hammer. So anyway, links down below. Like it if you like it. As always, I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. From now on, I'm going to be doing a Tuesday tackle tip video and a fishing Friday video. Um, so I hope y'all enjoyed this. Like and subscribe. Comment below if you want to see anything new. Thank you.